Hi, and welcome to this section of the Advanced Calculus 2 tutor. And in this section, we're going to continue talking about series and seeing uh, how series converge and trying to figure out when series converge. And we're going to talk about something specifically called the integral test. This section and next several sections after it, we're going to be focusing on different tests or different methods to figure out if a series converges. So let's just recap for a moment. We, we learned about the sequence of numbers, we called them a sequence, and we uh, talked about the convergence of that sequence of numbers. Just trying to figure out what the elements of the sequence do and how they march off, if they march off towards a limit or not. Okay. And then we talked about a series and introducing that, and we said that that was just adding up an infinite number, if it's an infinite series, which is almost always the case, adding up an infinite number of numbers in a sequence. Okay, and so what we're doing is, we're trying to figure out in this section and the subsequent sections, let's define several tests that we can put in our tool bag and look at a series on a test, and they say, look at this series, does this series converge or not? Okay, in other words, the uh, infinite sum here that you're doing, does it add up to a number, does it converge, or does it just blow up and go to infinity and, and doesn't converge at all. So the next several se sections are going to deal with that. Now recall, and I think I talked about this in the last section, recall that when you look at a sequence, or if you want to think about it, a series is a, is a sum of these uh, sequence of numbers, okay? The sequence itself, if you were to plot it on a graph, at n is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, you're just going to have points there. So you're going to have a value at n is equal to 1, a value at n is equal to 2, a value at n is equal to 3. I mean, these are the values, the elements of the sequence, if you will. Okay? So you could plot it, and it would be little dots on a graph that would correspond to whatever number n you're, you're talking about, the element in the sequence. Okay? And we also said that the series is when we add all of those numbers up, the elements of the sequence. Okay? Now, we made the analogy in the last section that a sequence, when you plot it like this, and little dots on a graph, it looks kind of like a function. The, uh, the form a sub n, giving you the elements of the sequence, or the terms in a series equivalently, right? It looks, like a, it looks like a function. It's not a function, okay? It's not, because a function is a smooth, continuous thing that you can graph and have infinite number of points all over the place, okay? Whereas this series thing is adding up discrete points spaced an equal distance apart there at every value of n, okay? But still, to the, to the, to the naked eye, you look at the graph of a, of a sequence or a series of the, the points that, that, that are defined at every value of n, and you see patterns and trends, and you can kind of imagine that it was a smooth function there, okay? So what I'm getting at here by telling you all of this is that we can use our knowledge of functions and the calculus of functions to apply to the convergence of a series uh, they're not the same thing, they're not the same thing at all, but by analogy you can use some of the things in your tool bag that you've learned from uh, from functions. Okay, so the first thing we're going to look at is the integral test. Okay, so just big picture, totally big picture. Remember what an integral is. Okay, when you go back to the definition of the integral way back in calculus one, you'll see that the integral is a, sum a summation. It's a summation of an infinite number of things that we have reduced down to zero. That's what the dx is in the integral. It's differential x. It's an infinitesimal uh, part of x, dx, and whatever you're integrating there in the integrand is just something that you're summing over. You're summing those terms, those, it's not a term, you're summing uh, that function really over differential values of x and you're adding them up. And that's why an integral is equal to the area under the curve because you're chopping that, that guy up and you're adding them up over infinitesimal uh, amounts of dx and you're adding the whole thing up, okay? So by, by comparison, when we're trying to find if a series, not a function, but a series converges